I gotta show you how I made this glitch effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size. I'm gonna go with this model as a reference. Also gonna leave a link in the description with it and from where you can download all kind of sculptures. I gotta go remove background, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up. I'm gonna go and add a solid background, select solid color, I'm gonna go with some dark gray, click OK, rename the layer model, and I'm gonna press Ctrl J two times to create two more copies. I'm gonna double click on the second model layer. Let's go and deactivate the green and the red, click OK, double click on the first one, and deactivate the green and the blue, click OK. And from here, we're gonna push the first layer out. Let's select the second layer and push it to the right this time. Let's go and create a new solid. I gotta make this white, click OK, bring it right above every each layer. Right click, convert to smart objects, rename it as lines. Now make sure that you're on black and white, and especially the black to be on the top. Let's go to the filter, filter gallery, and we gotta go to the sketch, select half tone pattern. Make sure to change the dots to lines right here. I gotta go with the size too, decrease the contrast somewhere around five. Click OK, and we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light. I'm also gonna go to the adjustments, select the curves, add a little bit of contrast. Now we're gonna press and hold Alt, and let's go down where we create a new layer here and click on it, rename it as green. Let's go to the mode, change it to overlay, check the fill with overlay neutral color 50% gray, click OK. Right click on the green, convert smart object. Now we're gonna go to the filter, noise, add noise, make sure to uncheck the monochrome, and I'm gonna go with like 20-ish. Click OK. And from here we're gonna apply a really interesting keyword. I'm gonna press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. And there you go. This way created a new merged layer from every each in one. And from here let's go and select the rectangle marquee tool, and I'm gonna select some of these areas, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Select the selection tool and just bring some of these areas out or to the left or to the right. Let's select again the original layer here, marquee tool again. You also can select just a specific area, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and just position it to make it look glitchy and do the same thing until you get some interesting results. And here's the finished glitch. Now I'm gonna go to this layer and delete it and scroll down, go to the contrast and we're gonna modify it a little bit more to look different. And this is it, thanks for watching.